Hi, this is DH Dunn, and I'm here to ask myself a very basic question. Can I loop 10 days in Blackrock? We're in the middle of our fourth attempt, and I think our strongest one yet. Um, let's take a look and see how my memory is. I'll talk about how things have been for me over the past couple days, which is things are fine. All things I can are fine. Think about is food. She's hungry, but she's not starving. She's got some heat. Uh, someone left her a nice note. So we are on day two. I remember that much. So just very briefly. Um, so the storm came in for us here in Maine uh, Wednesday night. Yeah, and it was, you know, it, it kicked up pretty good during Wednesday night, but it really came in during the early hours of Thursday morning. Thursday morning, the power went out. And um, by the time, I'd say by about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning, they were saying like 350,000 people without power in Maine. And so we thought we were in for a long haul, you know, multi, multi-day thing, which we've been through multi-day outages before. But in the end, we had our lights back by late that night. And we're very, very fortunate because a lot of Maine didn't and good portions of Maine still don't. So, you know, we feel very, very lucky. Um, in the end, you know, it had a little bit of an impact to recording and stuff. And, you know, we had to throw the stuff out of our fridge and, you know, the usuals. But um, for the most part, not too bad. All right. I would like to gather every cattail on this location. And I have a thought of what I want to do. Despite the niceness of this spot, I don't want to stay here because I won't stay warm. How warm is this bed? This bed is 5C, but my clothes are not that good. Uh, the, do we have a sewing kit, by the way? I don't think so. No. Of course, we can harvest. I really need a big, long sleep. And I feel like I need to get back to the trailer to have that. And in order to have the big sleep to get conditioned back, we need uh, calories. Uh, so I am... Oh, what happened? Oh, did I blow this? I blew this. I blew this water. All right, so be it. Um, throw those sticks in there. You know what? It is what it is. I'm going to go outside. Do we have any... Ca we, we grabbed some cattails, so let's just get out of the red here. And I don't know... See, part of me wants to expand my knowledge of the area, but another part of me wants to say, no, consolidate. You now know how to get to this location. Now see if you can find your way back to that trailer where you can sleep. I think, I think the road is over there, but I want every cattail on this lake. I have been having a lot of fun with this series, and I really didn't think I would. I didn't think I'd have fun in Blackrock, but, you know, discovery and exploration is just really fun. And, you know, I can do a lot of stuff in Mystery Lake, but what I can't do in Mystery Lake is find something I haven't seen before, for the most part. I'm sure there's a nook or cranny I haven't been to, but this is like getting a new map, you know? It's a really hard map, but it's still fun. Now I'm going to fight my urge to sprint because I don't want to use up my remaining stamina. Oh, some, some uh, Burbank over there. I doubt I can dig it up, though. I need to get back to that water. Let's just take a shot at one of them. I don't think I, don't think I have what I need, right? No. Knife hatched or pry bar. Nothing over here, which is a bit disappointing. So yeah, the one flying the ointment here has been food. And I feel like a trip to the prison. If I can figure out how to get there and I have a thought. <gasps> sure getting cold. How to get there. A trip to the prison would really make things better. Now god I would love a carcass somewhere, but I have not seen one. I may not be ready to leave just yet.
Damn crows are never around when you want them. How are we doing here? I didn't blow the water this time. Can you make a tea? We don't have any... Oh, uh, we don't, huh? Do we have any bandages? We do. Do we have old man's beard? We do not. We need to be keeping an eye out for that. Okay, so the question is how much longer do I want to stay? Uh, definitely long enough to warm up. Which we did. I think I'll take this water. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. Actually, Esther, that's just completely and thoroughly inaccurate. As I think you know. Probably not going to keep this torch lit. It is what it is. We'll give it a shot. We're going to meander our way over to what I think is the road. Gather ye stick buds while ye may. That mountain is actually a pretty good um, landmark to try to keep myself oriented. I might keep this torch going after all. Maybe not. I think the road is this way. I'm sure I'm not missing out on any Charlie Tangos there. I'm not. So, as much as I would love to proceed farther down the road, Instead, I'm going to try to head back this way in the belief that this will take me back to the trailer where I can sleep without worrying about having to keep the fire going. We can tell I've been this way because I left one of my torches there. Walking into the wind is not great. I'm not in love with it. You could stop anytime. There, wind. It's a good, like, K2 style mountain up there, though. Very good to keep myself oriented. A uh, bear? Are you kidding me? What is with the bears in this series? All right. Well, I guess we're going to look over here for a few minutes anyway. I think I'm good on sticks at this point. Maybe I can cheat around him this way? So I'm always worried that I'm going to run into the Timbies. I mean, this looks like a path of some kind. Well, we're off script. <laughs> this is as usual around here. Possible goat here. leads to what? The road, the trailer. Oh, well that's where I wanted to go anyway. Well, that was fantastic, actually. Okay, yeah, so if you could just not fall, that would be amazing. Thank you. Um... Well, here we are again. 
Is that a can over there? Hang on. Yeah. I thought I saw a can. Oh, I had a, uh, <laughs> I had a lantern up here. Oh, it's a freaking stump grinder. Stupid stump grinder. All right. Um. So this is where we have to decide: do we stay here and try to sleep to get healing? We're good on water. I think I'm just gonna eat all the cattails. Maybe not the best, but I, I don't want to take any more damage. But are we going to try to break out for the prison now? How many torches do I have? Decent. We're pretty cold, though. How many matches? More than enough to get there. I'm going to let this go so that I don't have that stress. Bang the microphone there. Sorry. Mm, we can't sprint. We don't, we don't have enough uh, stamina to do a, a sprint, which we probably would have to do to get away from the Timbies, assuming I even can figure out how to get there. What I don't like is just staying here. Well, maybe we scout the area around here a little bit. We'll warm up. Stupid bear. Actually, maybe not stupid bear. It found me a good goat. Alright, well, we could be taking mushrooms to make tea next time we have a fire going. Alright, and what is over here? Yeah, Astrid, I get it. You're cold. I'm, I'm on board with the program. There is a rope climb over there. Or a... Uh, uh, a uh, hand over hand I'm climb. Starving. Yes, I know. That's what I'm working on. Just doing a little look-see here. Got some rose hips. I'll take those. Don't climb back down. Okay, and this leads me to what? More rose hips. Weather is definitely deteriorating. I don't want to get too far afield here. All right, I do see some old man's beard, though. But I think it's this. Oh boy! All right, well we're in for it now. Ooh, hello. Yeah, saw that coming. Hitbox, please. Hitbox, please. Hitbox, please. Oh my god. Where are you? Fine, screw it. What is this? Oh, leave Blackrock. Uh, the cold is making my head feel thick. Okay, cave. All right. <gasps> it's warm. Ooh. All right. Mega torch? I'll take it. Mm. Almost. Almost a mega torch. 80%. So, if I had a bedroll, I'd be like, hip hip hooray. Because I don't, I'm a little less excited. Oh, 
water. Shit. I don't really want to... Uh, I don't know that I want to deal with that. Hmm. We do have to make a fire anyway and wait this out. Alright, Astrid. She doesn't even have any songs. <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah, I know. I thought that would um, get me completely cold. Maybe that's going through the waterfall only. Well, this run has definitely been the exploration run. <gasps> Hello, wolf that I can't eat. Jerk. More water. Damn it, did she get her shoes wet? She did. Now, of course, the other fun part is that I probably have gotten myself lost. You don't just leave your shoes off. Okay, you did. Just remember to put them back on, please. I see coal. So, you know, anytime... Uh, Anytime you want to throw a uh, some loot at me, I'm into it. If you want to hit me with like you know a big turkey dinner or something? I need to find food. That's what I was just talking about. Wow, this is a big chamber. Whoa, what a huge uh, hand over hand climb. Oh boy. Well, I've done it now. The whole point was to sleep and heal. But no, I had to go exploring. The downside of uh, going through a cave by lantern is you're not leaving little torches behind to remind yourself of the way you went. This feels like an exit. I'd also like to point out that with the exception of coal, this cave has given me nothing. But, uh, and warmth. Coal and warmth. I grant you. God, this cave is so big and confusing. Oh my gosh, I'm never going to find my way back. Don't sprint, you idiot. So now I'm more committed to where... Ooh, I see light. Where will I be? A good percentage of the audience knows where I will be, but I don't. Leave cave. Timberwolf Mountain? What? Hey, it's the way out. Oh, shit. I was trying to pick those rose hips. This is the way out of Black Rock. Okay, well, that's good, but I need to stay in Black Rock. All right, I think I'm going to make a fire. That's great to know. Wow, super cool. 
Okay, awesome. Now, I don't know where in Timberwolf Mountain that is. Um... That's for another day. I can at least stay here and maybe if the storm passes, I can peek outside and see if there's a carcass or something. I can't start existing in Timberwolf Mountain though. That's just against the spirit of the series. Now, one thing I can do, eat a cattail or two to take the pressure off. Because we are slowly healing anyway. And then I can... I might as well make more water while I'm waiting. And I can prepare some tea. Well, this is really interesting. It, it's calories. Not a lot, though. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to put one more coal in here, and then I'm going to take it all as torches. And use the torches as a way to kind of help me find my way out. Because now I want to get back. Rock away, Astrid. Astrid. Because I gotta sleep. Pretty soon I'm gonna start taking condition loss to that, which pisses me off, to be honest. Because I feel like we're really getting somewhere here. Alright. Alright, I don't wanna go overweight, so. Here, light that. Okay, so we got a little crouch here. And my gut says go right. We angle down. Feeling good about it so far. We can get down to where there's a bunch of water, then I know that's right. Here comes the sprain risk again. Can we just... Okay, now this is the way we did not go. I feel confident. So I'm going this way in the hopes of loot. I'm gonna have to eat soon. Wow, that worked out. Oh, that worked out tremendously. Oh, they're terrible condition, Astrid, but you know what? We are not in the chooser category. Let's let's um let's hit this up. I'll make sure I have um antibiotics first. Come on. I drank the, the reshi tea, so I don't have that. Why didn't Astrid, that work? seriously, why didn't that work? Even a like a straw bed would be a lifesaver right now. Come on, little fire. Come on. Perfect. There. Kill that. Let's go for it. Oh, I was gonna check first. Well we can still cook it. 
Uh, no, I don't. I know I don't. Uh, we'll cook it, but we're gonna eat the, um... Eat these. Let's keep this bugaboo off our backs for a bit. I don't think we're gonna find our way to a bed before we um, run out of stamina, so at least we won't be taking damage from this too. You finish, take you, give me a torch. Leave those for now. Now I hear running water. I'm gonna leave that going. We're still barefoot, yeah. I think this is the same spot. Timber Wolf Mountain, how about that? Okay. So I actually know how to get out of Blackrock if I can find my way to Bricklayers. That's very exciting. That changes the map for me. This is back to where we were. Okay, that's the climb. We don't want that. That's where we came from. Ugh. All right, I think I may have missed a turn. All right, we're gonna go back through this again. When I was trying to learn HRV, I would collect a ton of rose hips and I would leave like a single rose hip to like mark spots where I had been. Which would be smart ex right now, except I really want those rose hips. So. If I end up back at my fire, then I know I went the wrong way. I don't think I went through this much water. There's the dead wolf. We didn't see him before. <laughs> yep. All right. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Uh, we don't need to drop that yet. Gotta remember to put Astrid's shoes back on. Nope. 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 There we go. You can't be hungry. Yes. We have made it. Put your shoes on, uh, Astrid. We're at Grandma's. Now. What is the blizzard situation? Blizzard is not happening. There's a, a tree climb over there, but we don't want that right now. What we want is to get back. Okay, there's like two hand over hands. I swear I hear something walking around out there, which I really, really hope is not the case. Find the road, find the road. You have no stamina left, so... There you go. Trailer, 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 trailer. We may not even take any stamina damage. We may have enough calories to do a decent sleep. I 
can't feel my hands. Ooh. All right, Astrid, big drink. Give me that bed. Bed. Eight. Go for eight. Oof. Wow. Two days, 43 minutes. Only two days. All of this has been only two days. God, how harrowing this has been. But this has been the run that has really God, opened up a lot of the map. Yes, I know, Astrid. I, do, do you really want these? There, there aren't even that many calories in them. I don't think that they're worth it. Can you go find the bed again, please? Bed, I would like you to sleep another three hours. You're gonna have to go back to starvation. All right. Um. Condition-wise, pretty decent. Can you eat trees? I'm going to take this last um, hour, even though we'll take a little damage possibly from it, uh, because I want full sprint. Okay, drink. I'll die if I don't get some food soon. I know, I... I'm debating the, um... Crows, 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 crows. That's stupid flying crows. The worst kind. I'm debating the, um... Peaches. It would be just devastating if, uh, we were to pick up uh, food poisoning, though. And that would be it, I think. All right, so my goal, because I think these power lines are what's giving me a thought process here. My thought is that we can run back across this bridge. And I think those power lines lead to the prison. And if we can get to the prison, then we have um, other options. I might stop here and warm up. Oh, I guess I'm going to... We're already starving, so it's not like we'll be starving more. Because I saw some old man's beard and I really want to get it. Ah, the peaches, man. The peaches, the peaches, Come the on, peaches. The temptation of the peaches. It's not even that many calories. It's less oh, than two yeah. cattails. That's good. <sighs> Oh, thanks a lot, frickin' wind. Um, I can't yeah, feel I saw that coming. I just, I'm worried we're gonna get bit. You know, those little nips from the uh, Timbies. Can you? Just looking for stray cattails. Oh, so now there's cold. a ton of them on the river, but I don't know that I can get back to the river. All right, you're cold, so we're gonna hang out here until you're warm, which is actually taking longer than I would have liked. Put that fur in there. Pick that up. Okay, take that. Do not drink it. Put it here. Make more water. And we did find more rosa. We should make more tea. Oh, the times they are a-changing. I think we might have to head back. 
Yep. Well, we don't have to head back yet, but it definitely puts a damper on my plans. There is the bed here. We do have a decent amount of fuel. We could just sleep it, sleep it out. Maybe I grab two. Throw one more coal in there. Put this uh, down, jiggle it. If we could grab two, the fire would still be going. And actually, it's not a bad spot to stop. I think I'm gonna take this save here. Um, because anything else I want to do is going to take me about 20 minutes, and, uh, I don't have 20 minutes of recording time. So I think I'm going to take this save here, and, uh, the goal is to get to the prison. I think the prison is this way. I do. So we just got to wait this storm out, and then we'll take a shot at it. So, um, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you very, very much for watching and for all the support of the series. I really, really appreciate it. Um, you know, every, every subscriber count, every time that that number goes up, it just makes me so happy. So thank you so much for all the likes, the comments, the subscribes. Um, we got a new Patreon, which is really, really awesome. I should know that name, but I don't. I need to go look that up, but they will be in this video. In the credits of this video, they will already be there. So um, thank you all so, so much for your support. It means everything to me. And uh, that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with more adventures in the long dark. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, take care of each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.